So this is the section B of the 2021 paper two, uh, science paper two, uh, ECC exam. In section B has got, uh, okay, so we'll start with B1, which is question one for section B. Write your answers in the spaces provided in the question paper. The following diagram shows the changes of state in three states of matter. We've got gas, uh, liquid and solid. Okay, so these are the changes of state. So the arrows, I presume they show the, the the direction of the change of state so from liquid to gas, from liquid to solid, from solid to gas. So these are the three stages. So describe the arrangement of particles in solid. So in solid, there are a number of things that you can say here. The most important thing about A1 is uh, that it, it you should understand the kinetic theory of matter and how uh, the particles are arranged. So in solid, the kinetic theory of matter says that the uh, the arrangement of particles in solid is that uh, it is uh, they are fixed, uh, fixed, fixed, and since this was one mark, this could have been enough. But you could have also say they are fixed, uh, close together. Alice could have said they are close together, close together and um describe the arrangement of particles yeah they're fixed they are close together and they have got little space in between them little space so you could have used any of these three points little space little space in between them so i could have said little space I'm having a trouble writing there right a1 describe the arrangement of particles in liquid so for A2, not A1, A2, the particles in liquid is that they are packed closely, so packed closely, packed closely, closely, uh, but they're not orderly, not orderly arranged as in solid, they're not orderly arranged. Any of these points should be okay not orderly arranged and they've got little spaces in between them so little space in between them but it is more than solids so more little space so more than solids so you can say they've got little spaces in between them but they're more than solids so this is a2 this would have been an a1 any of those should have been enough so we can jump to the next question Next question says, set the name of the change of state labeled A and B. So, labeled A and B. So, from liquid to gas, that will be evaporation. So, A will be evaporation or uh, vaporization. Evaporation or vaporization. Uh, that is a change from liquid to gas. And uh, describe the change. The next question was from uh, state the name of change of state labeled A, which is uh, evaporation, evaporation, then B, which is from liquid to solid. And uh, from liquid to solid, normally we can think of uh, water freezing to ice, so that would be freezing. Okay, uh, B2, which changes of state A or B is an exothermic process? Explain your answer. So what is an exothermic process? So an exothermic process is a process which will, uh, at the end of it, all give out heat. Or oh, they're going to release heat into the environment. So which one? Evaporation or freezing? Which one is going to release heat into the environment? So I would go for B, freezing. Okay, so this shouldn't confuse you because... Uh, the particles are together because they uh, they will be close together or a distance apart because there's uh, there's kinetic energy. Now, if you reduce that energy, they will give up heat allows things to have kinetic energy. So they will lose that kinetic energy. They will stop moving. They will be closely packed, and then it will become ice. So hence, freezing will uh, be an exothermic reaction. I mean, it will have they'll have to lose the heat for them to be packed together. If they had the heat, then they wouldn't be packed to uh, together. So uh, the process B is exothermic, 
okay you can use this explanation here uh, because particles uh, will uh, will release heat uh, to the environment okay to the environment release heat to the environment in order to uh, in okay in order to uh, to or in order to bond or to to be packed together so you, you can use a better better explanation than me or you can use this one so particles will release to, will release heat to the environment in order to bond or to uh, to, to, to to remain close to remain close together to, to remain close together okay that that should give you the one mark and uh, let's jump to the next one question b2 the following list the following is a list of methods used to separate mixtures. So we've got filtration, chromatography, crystallization, distillation, fractional distillation, evaporation. Choose from the list above the suitable method that will be used to obtain pure water from solid, from sodium chloride, sorry, sodium chloride. So sodium chloride, this is just a common salt. Okay, so when you dissolve salt in water how would you get back the water what process would you use okay so we want to obtain pure water from this okay so from this list we've got uh, crystallization fraction distillation evaporation uh, fraction uh, filtration so which one would be used to obtain pure water from sodium chloride solution now well, the best method we can use is distillation here distillation Separate a mixture of ethanol and water. So we are separating a mixture of uh, ethanol and water. Okay, so how would you separate this mixture? So for this one, we would use a, uh, a method that is used to separate uh, miscible liquids or liquids that can mix. So water and ethanol, which is basically alcohol, these things, these are two liquids that can mix but have got different boiling points. So we'll use FD fractional distillation fractional distillation and then obtain copper two sulfate crystals from uh, saturated copper two sulfate solution obtain copper two sulfate crystals the crystals want to obtain crystals from uh, saturated copper two sulfate solution Okay, so here we can use, so for this one, we want to obtain uh, crystals. Oh, I had to change to the other document. So crystals, copper two crystals from such a copper two surface solution. So this would basically be crystallization. Crystallization. Obtain uh, barium sulfate from a mixture of barium sulfate and sodium nitrate mixture of barium sulfate and sodium nitrate so what will we use so barium is a so sodium nitrate uh, is actually soluble so we could use filtration so we could use filtration right here so we could use filtration separate color substances in a sample of a soft drink okay so we're now we'll talk about separation of colors uh, chromatography okay 